Hey everyone, today we are talking about how to measure for a bra. So what you need is a sewing measuring flexible ruler. And then and basically what you do is go around under the waist and this will be for the band size so I'm a 36 and then go over the fullest part of your bust in a 43 okay so now what we do to get the cup size is you take 43 minus 36 so that's seven now so if we do the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So I'm the 36G. Okay? And so it's just taking the differences. Um, how Victoria's Secret measures is normally it's the same way under the waist. But a lot of the times, if it's super tight, they will go up a band size. So instead of it being at the 36, they would probably put me at a 34 or um, a 38. And then since their cup sizes don't go that far, they would only put me in a triple D. They they're trained that way to say, you know, some of them might tell you that you are a bigger size, but most of them don't know how to go up that far. They're like, and I do this, I, it happens all the time. I, I go into places, you know, thinking I can go get a bra size, and then they sit there fucking counting on their fingers, and I'm like, bitch, you know, and then they try to tell me, like, I'm only a triple D, I'm like, you just counted, like, how many more than that? That ain't no triple D, because a triple D is an F. Okay? And this is saying that I'm a G. So I'm pretty close right now. But, I mean, sometimes I'd be, before when I was a 34 band waist, I was like an H and I. And I mean, so mine's been fluctuating with my weight. And if you, and if you're a smaller band size, it's usually bigger cup size. If you have big boobs, that's kind of how it is. So, I mean, it's just frustrating when they sit there like counting and then they only tell you that you're a triple D or double D because that's the only biggest size they have. If you do it yourself, you know you're doing it right. And then you can order online, you could go to any store, find your size, you know, that's the best way. Um, so Victoria's Secret does it that way. Uh, J.C. Penny does it the opposite way. J.C. Penny, because I worked there before and I was in the bra department. What they do is they take the overbust first. So they would take the forty-three. They would take like the forty-three part and have that be your band size. So. If I was a 43, they'd probably put me in a 40 band size, which is huge. It's huge for me. And then they would put me at, you know, a certain cup size, depending usually on, um, like, a D or double D, I believe, there. So, really, they do it, like, the opposite way. They do the... They do the overbust first and then the underbust. And then they try to tell you the size. So they're, and that's just how their brand is. So it's based on different brands. Like you could be different brands and different brands, different styles, and you could be different sizes. So right now, um, actually I'm just wearing this cute crop top. You can see it's just a cute crop top sweater with them 
<laughs> matching bottoms. Super cute. Anyways, um, but I'm just wearing a bralette underneath this. And that I have in a 1X. Um, it varies in different sizes. And so, yeah. So, I'm going to talk about the different... I'm going to show you some of mine that I have in the different um, sizes and such. So, this one is from jc penny and actually it's a 38 double d so probably at the time i would i probably was the same size i bet it was not that long ago but so um I would say, and this is Vanity Fair 38 double D. And so, okay, it's kind of more one that definitely gives me coverage, but not really at the same time. Like, it's more, like, there's coverage, but then there's also cleavage. So it's kind of not the best because, like I said, I'm not, not a double D, but this is what their brand but they do have, like, fuller cups, I see. Like, their cups are surprisingly pretty big for double Ds and such. Like, they're pretty dang big. So, I mean, I'll try to compare it to what I have. But, um, this is my biggest one. Which, as you can see, I added on, um, these bra extender back um you can get them at craft stores i get mine at joanne fabrics and i use my 50 percent off regular price items usually on those when i want them because this bra was a 34j and this is now that i moved up to 36 because i gained some weight so instead of just buying new bras i just was like fuck it <laughs> i'm just gonna get like a bra extender that's only I don't know, 10 bucks, 5 bucks. Now, this bra is very full coverage. And, um, you know, it definitely makes my boobs sit up nice and neat. There's these kind of weird padding on the straps that I don't necessarily like, but at the same time, that kind of helps them stay in place. But this one definitely is more um, just full coverage all around so as you can see like it definitely it it fills everything you know and since I have kind of a smaller waist it kind of you know this one's almost a little bit too big on me that the whole cup is kind of more of just laying flat on me instead of the whole thing so I probably should have sized down on this one but when I had bought it I didn't know what size I'm like well all my other sizes weren't fitting right and I was just so fed up so I bought this one and this is a 34J I bought it at um, herroom.com and this is um, it's a Laya brand I think I guess um, yeah I, I really like it, actually. It's a nice full coverage bra. So, that's kind of my full coverage one. That's kind of my go-to when I don't need to show cleavage. This one, I have a bra extender on the back, which I don't think I need it on there. Because I think when I do have it on, it kind of rides up. And you're not supposed to have it right up on your back. Um, but this one I got... At, like, uh, Goodwill, I believe. And it's kind of cool. It has these, like, on the straps. It has a thing where you can adjust them. And so you could fit it to your size or your arms. That's great. And you kind of just tuck it underneath. It's kind of more supportive. Um, this one's Comfort Choice. And it's a 38D. So... Yeah, that's why I really don't need this bra extender on there because 
it would just, it just makes it too big and it rides up. So, and yeah, this one's only a D cup and it's more just of a cute cleavage one <laughs> because it's only a D cup. So, got this at the Goodwill. I mean, it was good full coverage sometimes, but then, oh, as soon as you bend down, girl, you know that cleavage is going. It, it's just gone. So, um, it's very comfortable because there's no wiring, and I have a hard time finding, like, good bras that are really cute and have no wiring. So, and then I have this one, which I don't have a bra extender on. Um, this is a 36G. So this is my current size. Um, and I, I really love it. I actually, you know, it's just a plain, um, plain nude one, but I found it at, um, a thrift store and I got it for a dollar. Girl, this, a dollar? This is a freaking steal. Like, these, this, my size, online, and anywhere, they usually at least 60 to $70, if not more. I mean, damn. Um, it's got great coverage, you know, it, it actually fits. You know how you, you just get those bras that you just want to actually have fit in them? There's definitely nice big cups. I mean, it is underwear, so I don't really like that. I'm not a fan of the underwear because that still really tends to poke at me and kind of digs into my armpits a lot because I have a shorter torso and such. Um, yeah, but this one's really good for just like a plain bra. Um, and what is this brand? This brand is Wackel. So, I, yeah, um, this is pretty much what I have. I think I have a few that are in the wash, but for the most part, um, it's really hard to find the 36 G's, F's, anything higher, like, you can't really find unless it's online, and... When you're in a small town area, that's pretty much all you can do. And they're really expensive. So, lately I've been settling for crap. I've been settling, like I said, for these bras that are like this one. That's just a D cup. That's this one that's just a double D. Because I got so sick of it. I got so sick of the bras just being too expensive. And, it, and I didn't want to be spending all that money. So, I've been getting the wrong bras. And it kills my back. Um, <laughs> it shows more cleavage. And just not what I want, but that's what I can afford right now. So it kind of sucks. And our industry really needs to change. Like, our fashion industry just needs to change. Like, we're getting plus-size clothing and whatever. Like, that's great. But the plus-size plus size bra industry really needs to get going. All right, I gotta go, guys. My hubby's calling me. Bye.